Hi, I'm Jeannie. Welcome to Mimi Craft, your home for all things creative and DIY on a budget. I make all the mistakes so you don't have to. Hi friends! Today is part two of Shabby Chic Tumbling Tower Block Decor, where we'll be creating more decor from some of the same shapes as in part one. If you haven't seen part one, I'll leave a link up top and in the description box below. If you like what you see today, don't forget to leave a like and a comment. If you haven't already subscribed, do it now. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you know every time I upload. Let's get started. You'll need one box of tumbling tower blocks for this style of light. I made two. Select 33 blocks that are the same size. Using wood glue, glue them together end to end in groups of three. You will end up with 11 sets. This is a needle tip applicator. They're available at Hobby Lobby, that's where I bought mine, and Amazon. If you don't want to purchase one, simply use a pin to pierce the tip of a brand new glue bottle. This will create a very low flow of glue. I used hot glue in addition to wood glue so that I could get an instant hold to keep the pieces from shifting while they were drying. When completely dry, use wood filler to fill in all the gaps on the top and sides of the three block sets. I used Elmer's wood filler in the color natural. Sand the sides and fronts of these three block sets. I used an electric sander. Make sure you use a respirator and safety glasses. The damp paper towel to wipe off any sawdust or wood glue residue. Glue two three block sets together. When dry, fill in the middle gap with wood filler and sand thoroughly. Place this piece right side down. Create a template on a wood block that divides the block in half long ways and has a line on it 1 8 inch in. We're going to use this to determine where to place the glue. Each subsequent three block set will be glued one half block down and one eighth inch in. It's probably just easiest to watch the video. Be sure to glue your blocks right side down. After laying down both my wood glue and hot glue, I use the marks to place the next three block set. Then I put hot glue down that seam to hold the blocks in place until the wood glue dried. On the outside seam, I added more wood glue. You need as much glue as you can get in there. It's a very uh, narrow place to glue. And you'll see after the one on the left that I wiped off the excess glue. I used the three block set on the right to determine placement for the left so everything would stay even. Continue gluing three block sets until you've added a total of five each side. You'll see that after a while I stopped adding dots of 
hot glue when I laid down the wood glue. It seemed to hold better when I just laid down the wood glue and then added the hot glue to the seam. Be sure to always remove any excess wood glue because if you don't, paint or stain won't adhere to it. I recommend that you place a book over the piece and allow it to dry overnight. Choose 24 blocks all the same size. You'll be gluing them together in two separate sets of 12 as seen on screen. It's very important that these are all the same size so that your project will be level and straight. Again with the wood filler, I swear I could build an entire house out of this stuff. You'll only need to add wood filler to the outside of each of these two, what do you want to call them, towers. Sand the ends to make sure these are all the same height. Face these right sides out, put wood glue on the top of them and set your project directly on top. You're gonna to be gluing it directly to that very last three block set on each side. Like that. And again, I'm gonna recommend you put something heavy. I have been using a book and let that set, again, a good chunk of time. You know the drill with the wood filler. I sanded this one by hand. I was surprised at how easy it was. So if you don't have an electric sander, it might not be that bad. Flip your project right side up and glue on the very last three black set. Glue three blocks together like this to create a platform for your light. You'll be needing two puck lights. I decided to attach the lights with Velcro because I reuse them so often. It'll also make it a lot easier to change the batteries. I bought these puck lights on Amazon because they have remotes. I thought that would make things easier. And I actually added Velcro to both sides of the platform so that I could place the lights either to face up or to face down. I ended up liking face down best, but you'll see at the end what both ways looks like. 
Hot glue worked okay because the puck lights are really light, but you might want to use something heavier duty like E6000. This is where I glued the platform. The platform depends on what side, where you glue it, and the size of the platform depends on the type of puck light you're using. I used hot glue to reinforce it so that it would uh, stay in place while the wood glue dried. There's a decent amount of weight to this, so I'll show you two ways to hang this. You can use, these are called D-rings, and they attach with nails. Or you can use these little screw eyes. And when you put these in, then you can just hang them on a nail on the wall. You can twist them to whatever direction you need. This is how my lights turned out. I hung one one way and one the other, just to kind of give you an idea of how you might display them. Project number two is a variation of project one and you will need two boxes of tumbling tower blocks. Make two fronts exactly like the last project without any sides. Choose 48 blocks all the same size. You'll be gluing them together in sets of 24 as you see on screen. Wood filler, yada, yada, yada. Glue the lamp fronts to either end of the sides is seen on screen. Use wood glue. When this was fully dry, it seemed pretty secure, but you can also add extra blocks, as you see here on screen, just to make it stronger. I use screw eyes for this one. You can see in this shot, I added blocks on the opposite end of the screw eyes so that this would hang evenly on the wall. And this is how it turned out. On this one, I place the lights facing one another. This is my preference, but you do whatever you like. This would be really cool as a set, but I ran out of gas to make another one. This is how it looks hanging horizontally. I know this was a short one. Please stay tuned for part three coming soon to a device near you. 
guys thank you so much for watching i sure do appreciate it please let me know in the comments below what you thought about the projects today i really love hearing from you until next time bye